Okay, recording now. <clears throat> Hello, Severus Chris. I, I am your host, Sean Shell. Welcome back to the Fuck That Up. We're going to do that again. Hello, Servus Grissai. Welcome back to the podcast. Here's a bird. I am Sean Shelton, and today I am with maybe my number one supporter and fan. He has been helping me along uh, the way, or every step of the way. Paul Philip Lash, thank you very much for coming. Hello. Thank you for uh, inviting me. Of course. So yesterday on social media, I asked people to basically send me every stereotype about a german person that they know and i got a lot paul i got a lot paul for people you don't know is a former german resident he is a german national and he lives in innsbruck or innsbruck land with everybody and works with with me and everybody at the raiders so he oftentimes and i can relate to this he is our german representative when something is about Germany, Paul has to answer for it, much like when something's about America, I have to answer for it. So I have to relate. Fair or not fair, it doesn't matter. But one of the most overwhelming stereotypes were that Germans have no sense of humor. Ah, I think that's not true. Absolutely not true. <laughs> See, I agree with you. I agree with you. But we're here today to de debunk or disprove these stereotypes. So I have Paul as my German representative, and we're going to put him through a humor test to see if Germans actually have a sense of humor or not. Uh, and this will be a continuing segment when we, when we have a stereotype that we want to debunk, Paul and I are going to get to the bottom of it, maybe prove it. And maybe it comes out that it's true. We'll find out. <laughs> so first things for, first, Paul Philip. I asked you to find three jokes and you are going to tell those jokes to my lovely judge in German and I will be grading you on content of the joke. Did you find jokes that were actually funny? And two, can you deliver a joke? Both of which are aspects of a sense of humor. Are you ready to get started, Paul? I'm ready to go. Let's do it. Okay. My lovely assistant, please take a seat. Hello, Paul. Hello, Lisa. Paul, whenever you're ready. Lisa, you ready? Yes. Petition. So I'm going to change to German now. Lisa, the erste Witz, den ich rausgesucht habe. Ja? Eigentlich mein favorite. Fangen wir an. Kommt eine Ente in die Bar und fragt den Barkeeper, hast du Brot? Antwortet er, nein. Fragt die Ente wieder, hast du Brot? Und wieder verneint der Barkeeper es. Es geht ewig so weiter, bis er wütend wurde, dass er schrie, halt jetzt dein Schnabel und ich nagel dich auf, die, auf den Tisch. Dann sagt die Ente, hast du Nägel? You know, I don't care, or... Okay, I'm going to mark that as a question mark. We'll talk about that later. Okay, Paul. I'm too stupid. Could be. The, the fans will judge. The fans will judge uh, as well. So uh, I'm going to say a swing and a miss on that one, Paul. All right. Uh, so uh, next joke, please. Okay, next joke. Good. Kommt ein Mann zur Wahrsagerin und setzt sich vor die Kristallkugel. Wie ich sehe, sind Sie Vater von zwei Kindern, sagt die Wahrsagerin. Das glauben Sie, erwidert er. Ich bin Vater von drei Kindern. Die Wahrsagerin lächelt und antwortet, das glauben Sie. Yeah, that's okay. I got it. But it's not that funny. I'm gonna Sorry, Paul. I'm going to say those are two. She laughs, so that, that works. Okay. And now I'm the third happy. one. Mm -hmm. Now the third one, which is maybe like you are a Tyrolean, Lisa, Sean is American and I'm German. So it's about us, our three nations. Ein Amerikaner, ein Deutscher und ein Tiroler sitzen in, einem Tiro in einer Tiroler Skihütte zusammen. Der Amerikaner bestellt ein Glas Budweiser, 
trinkt es auf einen Zug aus, wirft das Glas in die Luft, zieht einen Revolver und zerschießt das Glas in tausend Scherben. Wir haben in Amerika so viel Geld, wir trinken nie aus einem Glas zweimal. Das kann sich der Deutsche nicht bieten lassen. Bestellt ein Glas Warsteiner, trinkt aus, wirft das Glas in die Luft, schnappt sich den Revolver des Amerikaners, zerschießt das Glas und meint, wir haben in Deutschland so viel Geld, wir trinken auch nie aus einem Glas zweimal. Da bestellt sich der Tiroler ein Glas Zipfer, trinkt aus, nimmt die Pistole des Amerikaners, knallt den Deutschen ab und meint, wir haben in Tirol so viel Deutsche, wir trinken nie mit Ohren zweimal. That's the best one. Okay. But he read yeah, this... it off, I need to say that. Yeah, he's supposed to read it off. Okay, okay, okay. I thought that's a part of delivering. No, as long as he delivered it off. So the first one, I didn't understand. The second was bad and the third was good. But how is his delivery on the second and first one? He read it off. Yeah, but was it in a funny way? <laughs> you. Okay. It's a bit dry, maybe. Okay. Thank you for your assistance. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> well done, Paul, for Thank German. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody who's critical about German humor, maybe not the best judge. <laughs> I so, gave my best. I so I hey, hey, but you came out okay. You came out okay. So you got a two out of three of choice of jokes. The first one she didn't understand. I don't know if that's on her or on you. Uh, and obviously, if the delivery doesn't matter if they don't get the joke. But you came out of that round with four out of six points. So to clarify, every every there's ten aspects of humor that we're going through every round. You can get three points. So we're going to grade you out of 30 points and see quantitatively how funny Germans are. <laughs> and no, no stress, Paul. You're only representing like 82 million people. Okay. All right. <laughs> next, next, physical humor. So this is not going to be great for the podcast. I'll have to edit it. But for the video, it'll be good. I'm going to show you three videos of physical humor. And I'm going to grade you on how you think it's funny there. If you understand or appreciate physical humor. Video one. Let's make sure the volume is on. Okay, here we go. Ready? Yes. <laughs> okay, one for one. That's a good one. I'm glad you got <laughs> A baby. That's a bad one. That's a bad one. A, a baby, baby falling, falling down is always funny. I mean, she had a hood on. Video two. <laughs> no, that's awesome. <laughs> All right. Two for two, Paul Phillip. Last video. You get me always with stuff like this. <laughs> that, that's not funny. I mean, oh, when, when children it's getting funny hurt to is see, funny. but when children getting hurt, it's kind She's of... She's okay. She's yeah. okay. Let's hope so. We don't know. We do. It, after the, yeah, whatever. So, Paul Phillip, three for three. For people who are not watching or listening, uh, the first video was a baby slipping on ice onto her head. She had a hood on. She's okay. Second video was a, a little kid hitting a baseball into his dad's groin region, testicles. And the last one was a gymnast, a little girl running, and she hit the, the launch pad and then just ran into the – I forget what you call that uh, – all three videos funny. All three videos Paul laughed at. So, Paul, you're doing pretty yes. well. You're off to a hot, yes. hot start. You're seven yes. for nine right now. Not That's bad, so but it gets harder from here. It gets harder from here. One, one uh, aspect of humor is self-deprecation, being able to make fun of oneself. Uh, and I noticed that none of your jokes were self-deprecating. So, Paul Phillip, you get a zero out of three out of that round. Hmm? Uh, How's that? You got to learn how to make fun of yourself sometimes, Paul. Might be but hard I for can't it. write a joke about myself. 
people don't know me probably so okay not my problem paul not my problem ah. paul okay moving on surreal or silly humor so from here on out well besides one segment from here i'm going to read you jokes and i'm going to gauge your reaction and give you scores accordingly these are jokes that i've vetted so i know they're funny it's the if you think they're funny or not hey paul where do you find a cow with no legs i have no idea right where you left it <laughs> that's stupid are we now in this section right stupid jokes S stupid jokes silly jokes yeah. okay silly jokes no that's that was a good one I okay know. What do you call a Frenchman wearing sandals? A Frenchman wearing sandals. Sean Shelton? No, not French. Felipe <laughs> Felope. All right, that's a no, Paul, because that's a funny yeah, joke. No, that's... <laughs> Two cows are grazing in the field. One cow says to the other cow, you ever worry about that mad cow disease? The other cow says, why would I care? I'm a helicopter. All right. Paul, your silly sense of humor needs some work. Because yeah, those three are gold. Those three are gold. The Frenchman, maybe not. But that last joke is a gold. Gold mine joke. <laughs> so, Paul. Not for Germans, obviously. Obviously not. That's the point. Because I know everybody listening to this or watching is rolling on the on the ground laughing okay paul this might be the hardest segment Ooh. and i think germans are really going to struggle aka you improv comedy Oof. that that means comedy off the top of your head now i didn't warn paul about this i did not give him any indication that we would actually be doing this he might start sweating soon <laughs> uh so we're going to play three games quick games just to see how off the top of the head, you can be okay. First game, it's called That's Right. So I'll say something, then you interject to what I'm saying, saying that's right, agreeing with me, and then adding on to the story. And then I'll do the same, and you do the same, mm -hmm. I'll do the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Understand? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ready? I'm ready? Hey, Paul, did you see the circus was in town today? That's right, but I didn't saw some animals. That's right, but did you see the clowns? Yes, that's right, but he doesn't look really funny. He was sad, I think. That's right, but sads are kind of clown. Uh, clowns are kind of sad, right? That's right, but I don't like sad clowns. I like funny ones. That's right, but did you think, did you fuck? All right. Paul, you get a one for that. Yes. Although that was not very funny. Either of us, actually. So, <laughs> But you get a check. You did a good job. Next round, only questions. I'm going to ask you a question. You have to respond in a question. I have to respond in a question. You have to respond in a question. So we have a dialogue purely in questions. Okay? Mm -hmm. Hey, Paul, what do you think you're doing? What are you doing? I mean... Can't you see that I'm trying to build something here? I'm blind. I don't have my glasses on. Not a question, Paul. That's a statement. That's, ah. X. Where are my glasses? <laughs> that would have been good. That would have been good. Okay. Now the last one. You're applying for a job. Okay. The only thing is you don't know what job you're applying for. So I'm going to ask you questions and give you hints, but you have to keep answering my questions to try to figure out what job you're actually applying for. And I need to find out the profession at the end or the job at the end. Correct. Okay. That's funny. It will be. I think if not, we'll just edit it out. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. You ready? Yep. Hey, Paul, thanks for coming in. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Paul, why are you interested in this job? Because now I'm unemployed and I need money and I need a job. Ah, okay. 
Well, I guess that makes sense. Do you have any ex- experience in this line of work? Yes, I know little stuff about everything. Okay, okay. But so you you have done this job before specifically? Probably not that way. Okay. Uh, you know, but we don't offer a, a uniform for our employees too. So do you have the proper clothing to be able to, you know, move around and be, be nimble. Uh, yes, of course I have to. Okay, great. Okay, great. And the other thing is too, uh, you know, a lot of people aren't going to know what they're doing. So you got to be hands on. Are you okay with being hands on our clients? Always. Good. Good. Do you have any certifications to be able to be hands-on or should we, should we look into getting those for you? We should try to get these for me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. And I have other, no certifications. The other thing is Paul, everybody's going to be watching you to be able to mimic you or see how to do it. You have to be an example setter. So you yourself, are you skilled in this line of work? Are you able to perform at this level? You mean in front of other people? Correct. Yes, I think so. Okay. And, and you're very comfortable and advanced in all the movements and exercises that you'll have to be do, have to do. Probably not. I have to learn them. Okay. Uh, last question. Um, are you, do you have any concern about, uh, being in vulnerable positions and potentially, uh, <sighs> damn it. I was doing well. Uh, I don't know how that went. I don't think that was funny. We'll let people decide. Paul, what, what, what job do you think it is? <laughs> it's something stupid. Maybe uh, a clown, a dancer, uh, a stripper. I don't know. A yoga instructor. We, a yoga instructor. We might cut all of that out, Paul. We'll see. Probably. <laughs> Moving <wasn't>... on. <laughs> Moving on. Maybe I give the, the wrong answers or I don't know. Well, short answers aren't necessarily the best, you know, didn't yeah, give me a right. ton to work on. But uh, so I'm going to give you a one out of three or we're going to cut that whole segment. I haven't decided yet. You can decide it. Yeah, I'll decide it later when I watch it and go, oh, nobody wants <laughs> to see that. OK, Paul, back to the jokes. Next one is wordplay. Mm-hmm. OK, uh, three more jokes. We'll see how it goes. Did you hear about the kidnapping at school? What I I have to do now? You just have to say, no. I'm telling you a joke. Ah, no, I didn't. Good. Everything's fine, though. He woke up. Ah, yeah. Kidnapping. Hmm. No, not funny. Okay. How <laughs> the post is here. Uh, I Googled how to start a fire. I got 48,000 matches. Uh, no, okay. not funny. Moving no. on. What do computers <laughs> snack on, Paul? <laughs> I have no idea. Microchips. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That's- one, that was one uh, that was all right. right, but the other two no I got forty eight thousand matches that's funny that's at least worth a gi- worth a giggle yeah, but no okay. didn't so that was wordplay. It's tough to do wordplay in a foreign language too, but nevertheless, we continue observational comedy mm-hmm. I'm going to read you three quotes. We'll see what you think. Now they show you detergents to take out blood stains. A pretty violent image there. I think if you've got a t-shirt with blood all over it, maybe laundry isn't your biggest problem. Maybe you should get rid of the body before you do the wash. I think I didn't understood it right. But if I understood it right, it's not funny. What did you understand? Um... With the that, blood in the shirt, it, yeah. You understand. Make okay. Sense for, yeah. Moving on. <laughs> uh, the joke was that he killed somebody. 
Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Nope. Okay. Moving on. I was the best man at a wedding one time. That was pretty good. Pretty good title, I thought. Best man. I thought it was a bit much, though. I thought we had a groom and a pretty good man. But that's, that's more than enough. If I was the best man, why is she marrying him? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> just what is the parking situation at the Special Olympics? Is it still just two spaces? <laughs> oh, okay. okay. It's Paul, likes to, Paul likes to laugh at cripples. Okay, super. Good nah. to know. Good to know. The best man joke, a little too elementary yeah. for Paul. Okay. One out of three there, Paul. You had a hot start. You're falling back now. Okay. Two more, two more sections. Bodily humor. I think you're going to like these ones. What do women and toilet paper have in common? Don't oh, answer. Paul. I don't know. Don't answer. I don't Paul. know. Good answer. They both deal with a lot of crap. <laughs> okay. That's funny. Yes. Yeah. Want to hear At a poop joke? Smile. Yeah, good enough. Yeah. It could have it could have gone in a not good way. Uh wanna hear a poop joke? Yeah. Nah, they always stink. <laughs> Stupid, but two okay. Two for two. Two for two. Her. That's disgusting. Me. Sorry. Sometimes I like to poop with the door open. Her. You shouldn't be pooping at all in the car. No. Mm, that's a funny joke, Paul. Okay. No. Two for three. Last section, Paul. Currently, you're at... I don't want to do math yet. I'll do it at the end. Okay. <laughs> So now, dark humor, my favorite type of humor. Favorite type of humor. Okay? Ready? Let's go. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Wonderful saying. Horrible way to find out you are adopted. <laughs> That's a good one. I like okay. it. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, good. <laughs> Let's see. I have a lot of dark ones because I thought they were the funniest. It was hard to find some of the other ones. Um, I want to die peacefully in my sleep like my grandfather did. Not like sc not screaming in terror like the passengers in his car. Yeah. Okay. No, nope, that's a no. No, no. Mm. Okay. This yeah. one, uh, by the way, when you, yeah, no, too late. Okay, too mm -hmm. late. This one might be my favorite, though. What's the difference between me and cancer? My dad, my dad didn't beat cancer. <laughs> yeah, that's a great one. That's a good one. That's a hell of a joke. That's a hell of a joke. The other two I had is like joke. Yeah, I I wish the grass in my back lawn, my backyard, my back garden was emo. Then it would cut itself. Yeah, that's tough. That's tough. And the the fifth one I had was, what gift? What di gift did the kid with no hands get for his birthday? No idea. He hasn't figured out how to open it yet. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, Paul. So that was the Humor Olympics. Let's see. Oh. Let's see how you did. Tell me my score. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oof. Fifteen out of thirty. Mm. Fifteen out of thirty. If we were in school, Paul, what would that be? That's a that's a four. It's a D, D plus. <laughs> so. Ah. But. <clears throat> what do you know, have to say for yourself? I, I tried my best and. Uh, well, let's look at areas where you excel because it wasn't a wash. It wasn't a wash. Four out of six on your joke telling. Not so bad. Physical humor. Three out of three. 
and dark humor was two out of three. So there, all right, I would, I'll say, and bodily humor was two out of three. So I'll say that Germans, the blanket statement of Germans do not having, not having a sense of humor, I think needs to be narrowed down a little more into they don't self deprecate. Uh, they're not silly, which plays into other stereotypes I heard. Not so great at improv, which is not super surprising. Wordplay is tough, not your language. Could have done it in German. And observational humor. And even the last one you laughed at, the Special Olympics joke, that's dark humor. So I take that away too. So I'll say Germans are funny in some senses of humor, but overall, tough. What do you have to we say? Are, we are not famous for our jokes. I read something that there's no real German comedian right now. So Germany has not really a history of good comedians. Maybe some, in some German regions you have local guys when they speak in the dialect, but <laughs> it's not that Germany is famous for humor and comedians. That's, yeah. that's for sure. Yeah. So this stereotype... It's maybe not a stereotype. It's it's maybe a fact. It becomes maybe a fact. And, and, and it also depends on the area in Germany you, you watch. I mean, I was in the middle of the score and I'm also from the middle of Germany. I think the South Germany is maybe more humorous than yep. the Northern Germany. Mm. But uh, mm. maybe you have to talk to somebody from the North. I think, I think, uh, I think this is just the start of further um, testing I probably won't do the test if some type of national survey institution wants to take over from here. I'll be more than happy. <laughs> uh, but I will say this stereotype holds up, Paul. So yeah. uh, Germans are not overall funny. That's, Tough. That's so, Paul, thank you for coming on. Until next time, they are, there's still more. There's still a lot more. We have a lot to discuss and a lot to prove about these stereotypes. But where they say smoke, there's fire, you know, stereotypes come from somewhere and uh, maybe we just got to go and prove them all or debunk them. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe. Paul, thanks for coming okay. on. My, Thank you very much. My friend and the resident German of, of Innsbruck Land, Austria. Ciao, Paul. Ciao.